With many more open world activities yet to be discovered in Dying Light 2, we can see the return of parkour challenges from the first game, this time a little differently, so let's talk about it. Around the city you'll find these wooden signs that allow you to do Night Runner Trials, which replaces the parkour fever challenges from Dying Light 1. Overall, these two versions both work the same. The goal is to follow the checkpoints and reach the finish line as quickly as possible. One of the things that's different now is there's three tiers of rewards. One for bronze, silver, and gold. Depending on what Night Runner trial you do, there may be a different amount of checkpoints as well, with this challenge specifically having eight. Another one of the notable changes from the past is the color of the checkpoint, and the little icon that'll flash periodically on the map in front of you. This one for the checkpoint is blue, and there's a gray one that shows you where the finish line is at. For anyone that prefers, like me, these icons not to be on the screen, I assume that'll be adjustable in the menu, especially if they develop the HUD customization like they've stated. While in parkour, Aiden will occasionally talk to himself, to keep kind of motivating himself, you could say. And as you speed up, the music will become more and more intense. We also get to see a decent variety of parkour moves here, like the rope swing which looks fun as hell, stuff like climbing a pole and swinging off of a pipe. There's really a lot to see here and it all looks pretty great. I do have one thing I really want to point out, and that is, how the hell did they get all of these cranes all over the city? <laughs> like seriously, I'd love to see an explanation for all of that. But yeah, those are the parkour challenges in Dying Light 2, now known as Night Runner Trials. In all honesty here, I rarely ever touched the parkour fever challenges in the first game, but I think the verticality is really selling me this time. Either way, you'll see it all on the channel. So, if you haven't already, feel free to like this video, subscribe if you felt the need to do so, and stop by next time.